See here, look. Evolution of whales. It doesn't make any sense. And then it's got the hippopotamus. You know, being the closest relative. It's not, that's not the closest relative. The walrus is the closest relative. Then the hippopotamus. Then elephant and all of the stuff, the megafauna that comes after that. You see what I'm saying? See, they got all the pieces, but they're putting it together backwards. Or they got all the, the, the there's gaps. And then they try to fill it in the best way they can by moving one spot to another and then shifting it. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. It, it, you can't make it as simple as this. The evolution is simple as this. The evolution of a whale. Because the whales evolved everything. You see what I'm saying? That's why we get what we get. That's why we keep getting the confusion. See, it... All right, so basically, this this is a, a decent way of explaining it, okay? All of this, the constituents in this way are forming what's going to be the bone and everything of what's going to become the first thing that's the, the, the closest sperm, the seed or sperm being that's going to be both fish and mammal. It's going to have both traits. Something's going to have two traits, okay, whenever it spawns it, okay, and it's going to actually start forming variations of the mammalian and variations of the fish, and it's going to keep evolving both variations for a long time. Extinction events are going to happen. Those things that go extinct, but then time keeps going on. Things keep variating. Then eventually you got all that stuff where it transitions from uh, land on the or transitions from the water onto land and becomes all these reptilian. That's where the fish transitioned into amphibian and transitions from amphibian to reptilian because they are the closest relatives. And then everything that is reptilian from that. Okay? And then you have the mammalian. Whenever it comes from the water, it turns into its cetacean uh, from the cetacean to the walrus or whatever it would be the and then the, eventually the hippo which is why they got the hippo in there more the way it is and then it evolves into the, all the other variations that are going to become m mammal uh, eventually become human uh, the the hair it's growing the hair and it's it's putting it together where it can walk upright it's putting it into a, mammal, uh, a bilateral form and bears are part of that evolution, and sloths are part of that evolution, and gorillas are part of that evolution, and then man eventually becomes to be. And before you know it, you got an animal that does, it, actually, <laughs> it actually gives birth to many, like litters, instead of just one at a time. Because look up animals that only birth one offspring at a time, and you'll get a, a, a clear picture of how humans evolved.